But before we start, you know, I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, barely there, Biden, you know, he's doing such a great job in the office and all. I've heard he's dropping a mixtape. He's dropping a mixtape. A new Biden, new barely there, Biden is out taking mumble rap to the next level. What? My name is. Hey. My name is. Drug Hi. My name is. What? My name is. Who? My name is. Uh, the, the guy. Hi, kids. You like pie tits? Uh, they're not pie tits. You want to see me close both my eyelids? I get real close. I'm quicker than most. Let me be clear. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I, I, I take my Taki Joe drugs. And give super long hugs. I'm also an ice cream guy. Hi. My name is. What? My name is. Huh? My name is. Pro Rival. Stop the tape. I need to be changed. Maybe get another boost. Get the f out of here. I keep getting it. Sorry. My thing didn't pass. Then I fell on my ass. Off a bike that wasn't even going too fast. No, I'm serious. I flew to Crown Pimp Obama. He's a real bad dude. Gave him a little fist bump because I didn't want to be rude. Gas is still $18. What are you guys talking about? It's all right. The economy's strong. And I couldn't be prouder of my boy Hunty's dog. It, it's, I'm the next guy. So stop your search. And if you don't vote for me, you ain't a black guy person. Hi. Uh, what? You, who are you? Who are you? Who? Who? Jabrock Jabrydon. Thank you, and God bless America. Smile at camera. Sniff Sleepy, who's my name? Hunty and the big guy. Did. DC Records. Not sure who did this, but we gotta have some laughs. Everyone knows we take none of this garbage seriously, but that was pretty funny. Shout out to whoever made that. Uh, welcome, come on in. Join the show. Sit down and relax. We got quite a bit to talk about here. Uh, again, crazy times. And since we're on this whole politics thing, uh, check this out. <laughs> Just to build off of that, right? Uh, this one's pretty funny, too. We're what we're here seeing is that we are in a transition. We had this strong economic growth. We're, we're seeing what we're seeing is that we are in a transition. We had this strong economic growth because of the of the work that this president has done in the past 18 months. And now what we're seeing is a transition into stable and steady growth. A transition, she says. Pretty accurate for what's going on right now. Uh, what we're seeing with this situation here, especially with this this lady here, it's just total gaslighting. To the highest degree it's it's so disturbing to see this over and over again and how messy it's getting i mean they're they're it's so messy it's lazy it's it's just a horrible situation we're in clearly but this is our leadership right now there's something i want to say about this particular woman here um, and her new role and why the other the other lady left. I think this is strategic, of course. Well, it's not, right? But uh, I, I think it has to do with... Basically, she's being used as a political ploy to modify public behavior. And we're seeing the same thing happening with uh, the ABC community, we'll say, for right now. I see this as... Think about it. We're well aware of the political climate, say, post-Obama. Right. There's been BLM. There's been the the hijacking of the organic uh, civil rights movement of the past. Uh, there seems to be this kind of uh, political wearing of kids gloves when it comes to, quote unquote, minorities, quote unquote, people of a certain a certain uh, sexual persuasion. You guys know what I'm getting at this whole political correctness type of culture that we have now. I thought it was pretty uh, 
obvious, but at the same time strategic to put in, of course, not only a quote unquote black representative, but a black woman, right? If we want to pay attention to the, uh, what is it called? Intersectionality and this, this whole mind control program and that they're putting in the, the schools right now, a la CRT, et cetera. Uh, I think if you go to the bottom of their, their chart, well, I think at the bottom is trans, transgender women, but they definitely put the quote unquote black woman at the bottom as well. So, uh, it would be strategic to put one in a position of somewhat of authority or representation such that the general population, especially those that are taken by all of this will be gentle, right? If you've noticed, they haven't really gone in on this woman as much as they had say, uh, in the past with the, uh, the, uh, the good old ginger, <laughs> as it were, that we had in recently, right? They were really going in on her. And I would even argue there's some stereotypes built in there when we think of uh, ginger treatment over the years, etc. I'm sure you guys know what I'm getting at. Very interesting dynamic. But no, let's put a black woman in there. People will be gentle. They won't have enough nerve to come at her crooked or twisted, right? They'll be nice and straight with her. Uh, gentle, respectful, right? And this is just to protect the mainline narrative. It's a strategy. Maybe, maybe not. But I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, so...